saw this guy race in the desert and win a year ago. And I can't believe he can be this smooth because in the desert, all you do, white flag, one lap to go, is bump and jounce and leap 40 and 50 feet in the air. It's like watching an old Chitwood stunt show at the same time trying to run a race. And here he is, doing so beautifully all day, staying in the hunt. And now he is about to taste victory for the first time in his career. And this great racing crowd, he's slowing a little. He is slowing. down on the inside. He's trying to bring it through. Here comes the Rutherford car. Mears, try. You can see him shake the car, trying to get more fuel to it. He's coming to the line. He's running out of time. Checkered flag is up. Mears wins it. He's got to stay out of trouble, but he must be praying now. He must be imagining all the nasty things that could happen and think of the thousands of things that can happen, even though the white flag has been shown by Pat Vidan. There's thousands of moving parts in there, any one of them. Oh, nickels and dimes would buy them that could let him down. Unofficially, we've had our demon statistician, Jay Milligan, checking through the record books. It looks like he would be the second youngest winner ever of the Indianapolis 500, the youngest having been Troy Rutten. And there's Mike Mosley. Well, he's having a little fun unlapping himself there. Well, he didn't go very deep there. Rick Mears backed right off and let yep. him through there because obviously Rick couldn't risk coming in contact with him or getting out of line because mental concentration could get the better of him at this time. Incidentally, AJ's going much, much slower, dropping way back at this point. Looks like he does have a problem. And here comes the checkered flag awaiting young Rick Mears at age 27. He has won the Indianapolis 500 for 1979. There is Roger Penske, the man who owns the crew, and the rest of the guys of the Penske operation. The celebration has already begun. There is Rick. He's unofficial and will stay unofficial until tomorrow morning, technically here. But they know it's all over. There's but Penske there's again. The flag. Rick Mears has one lap to go. One lap to go to win his second Indianapolis 500. At the age of 32, he won in 1979. Five years later, he is on his way to victory again. Boy, would he like to win this one. Because there were many that said the first There's one. his mother. There's his mother, Rick's mother. They, many of them said that the first one he won here was a little bit of a fluke. He was still so new to the game. This one's no fluke at all. No question about that. And then, of course, he almost won another in that breathtaking finish with Gordon Johncock, where he lost by 16 one-hundredths of a second. Very little of this race to go, Jim, and I think it's going to come in just before it rains. Crowd waving to him, the applause growing, the checkered flag for Rick Mears. He's won the Indianapolis 500 with a hand in the air. Yep, hand in the air. There's his mother. <laughs> And Al Unser, who we believe to be finishing second in the race. There's been some confusing on the scoring system at the racetrack here about that. We believe Al Unser is second, but there, still with that hand in the air, is Rick Mears. Kathy Penske, more emotional than Rick's parents. Yep, she said it's so hard to change the order of things. So on to the main straightaway, the fourth and final turn. The final lap now being completed. The pace car will actually see the checkered flag first. And there is the checkered flag alongside the yellow. Rick Mears has won his third Indianapolis 500, and Chevrolet has won at Indy. Rick is one happy person. Three-time winner. Another one of these. This group is three-time winner. Look at Trent. Pinsky. Pinsky just continues to set records. Rick Mears won the Indy 500, only the second time he ever raced here. What a prodigy of the Speedway. Second place in an amazing... 
on a day that sees what may be the retirement from competition by the great four-time winner, A.J. Foyt, we may see another four-time winner crowned in Rick Mears. And the white flag has been thrown to Rick Mears, indicating one lap to go. Now less than two miles for Rick Mears. If he holds on, he will become the third four-time winner of the Indianapolis 500 here on the 75th running of the great race. Chris Mears as Rick runs the straightaway. One corner left to go. One corner left to run. He can see the checkered flag just ahead of him now. time winner of the 500 as he waves to Michael Andretti who is alongside of the crowd. The race has been run for the 75th time and Rick Mears picks it up. Third place is this car, Ari Lyons.